Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back, welcome if you're new here. My name is Rebecca, today I am bringing you gingerbread Christmas DIYs. So excited to bring this video to you. I have been crafting lots of little gingerbread decor. I used to do more like candy theme in our entryway in our last home and this year we're going with gingerbread. Let's go ahead and get started with these Dollar Tree Christmas gingerbread DIYs. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Consider subscribing before you go. Also let me know down below which one of these ideas is your favorite. You will see my favorite at the end of this video. One more thing I almost forgot. This adorable little gingerbread lady Lady. I am actually doing a giveaway for a brand new little gingerbread lady doll exact same one as her I already bought it I purchased two and I have one to give away to you guys which I am doing on my vlog channel Rebecca Jean so if you're not following me over there I'm gonna put the link for that channel down below as well as at the end of this video I will have my gingerbread decorating video over there where we're decorating our kitchen and all that with the gingerbread theme and there I will let you know over there how to enter to win one of these lovely little gingerbread ladies isn't she so cute but anyway let's go ahead and get started and we are starting out with two little wooden bird houses from Dollar Tree we're starting out by painting these I will do my best to link the ones that I use throughout out this entire video down below so just check the description box the the info box down below i just completely painted these so they will look like cookies and we are going to actually make the back of the gingerbread house be the front so it's actually like a gingerbread house we don't want it to have the hole that looks like a birdhouse so i'm just going to make those face the back and although i guess you could do a gingerbread birdhouse that would be pretty cute too but i wanted these to actually look like little gingerbread houses. We are going to be using a lot of fabric paint in this video because it's easy to work with. You can get it in Dollar Tree, you can get a larger one in bulk on Amazon. It ends up looking a lot like you're decorating with icing, but it's so much easier to work with. So, so, so much easier to work with than the sugar icing. So I have a way more fun decorating these little wooden houses. I did find this these foam stickers in Hobby Lobby and I thought it was very reasonable for the whole pack. The price was really good. It has some gingerbread stickers. So those are gonna be perfect for multiple crafts that I'm doing this year. As well as these little candy canes, I kind of cut them down and like I cut the pieces so I could reassemble them to kind of fit into a smaller candy cane shape. Oh, also they all go the same direction. So if you wanted one to face left and one to face right, you're gonna have to get a little creative like I did here to kind of cut one and flip it over to make it look like it's facing the other way. We added shutters on one of these houses. I used, like I said, the floral branches for some. I used fabric paint to create bushes on other ones. Ended up adding in like little dots on the roof to kind of look like candies, little foam pieces along the edge. So much fun. I think these are just absolutely adorable. And if you want to, you could convert them into an ornament. You'd have to kind of glue something to the top, I guess. And you could make them an ornament for your tree or even just stick them in the tree, especially if you have like a flocked tree. It's pretty easy to stick things into the tree and they kind of stay in place pretty well, um, but you could put anything that you want on here. And we're gonna take one of the little Christmas village houses and decorate it to be a gingerbread house. So I'm using my same cinnamon acrylic paint here. And then I ended up actually deciding to paint the roof over with white chalk paint instead. I figured that made more sense because I wanted it to look snowy or look like we covered it in white icing, something like that. And I also did around the bottom edge, like with the snow and then above at all of the windows as well, which it's probably easier to use your white fabric paint because with the smaller tip you'd be able to get in all the small areas like around the window frames and then once that dr that's dry I found these shiny little rhinestone sticker sheets and you can peel off like rows of them and because they're very small and they're very close together in my opinion they look like rows of candy on here which 
they also remind me of Christmas lights. These do actually have a little light inside if you're using the little tea light. I think the Dollar Tree ones, these come with a little um, tea light, a battery tea light candle inside. You know, just keep going back and adding as much as you like until it looks the way that you want. You can add a little extra glitter, add a little extra bling, use your fabric paint and have fun. And I thought this made an adorable little trio so cute and adorable and i just love how these look together Now, moving on for the next idea, I took one of these little house-shaped whiteboard signs. I didn't know what I was doing with it when I got it, but I ended up deciding it would be the perfect thing to paint the edges and make it look like kind of like a little gingerbread house. I did try to make the top look like it kind of had some icing up there. I used the fabric paint, added in some of these little red and gold foam berries from Dollar Tree. I got a whole big pack of them for $1.25. And I even added a little floral winter piece here with the berries, you know, the some pine and berries. And this just turned out really cute. And then if you want to, you can add some fabric paint on it to look like some snow sprinkle a little glitter on while the paint is wet and now you have a frosty wintry look so cute you can just have so much fun decorating this however you like Let's move on to the next one. And for this little ornament, it's gonna be super duper cute. I am spray painting one of the these ornaments from Dollar Tree. So I took the white one and spray painted it over with a paint to look like gingerbread. I don't remember the exact name. I will link this paint down below. Make some eyes on here. They're kind of like an upside down U. Added some little eyelashes. It, it, she started out looking like Rudolph, so you can definitely turn this into a little reindeer ornament if you wanted to. But I think once you add some pink cheeks and a smile, and get some eyebrows on and I did like some lacy hair up at the top. I think it's looking like a little gingerbread lady and this ornament is just so sweet and adorable. And I am hanging her up in my gingerbread tree. I also used the cinnamon acrylic paint and I painted another ornament and did another little gingerbread face as well on here. Tried it a little bit different, did the eyes a little bit differently. They are so adorable in the tree. Now for the next one, we are making a sheet of cookies. And for this one, I'm taking a wooden board from Dollar Tree and hot gluing on a few of the little wooden Jenga blocks on each end. And this is gonna be our tray. So I started out with this shiny gray paint and unfortunately it was very transparent. I, I was hoping it would be like a dark, shiny metallic, but it would be um, solid and it's actually very transparent. So ended up pulling out the gray paint that I had. This was the only thing I had. I think it was like called Parisian gray, maybe. It is a chalk paint. Unfortunately, it's a very light color. And even though I tried brushing that dark gray metallic acrylic paint over it, you can see it didn't really change the color. So I had to bring in a splash of some black paint and then I was able to get the darker color I wanted for my baking sheet that we're going to put our gingerbread cookies on. Now this is where the little gingerbread stickers are going to come in handy. So I was kind of positioning them out where I might want to add them. And I didn't want to do all gingerbread cookies. I wanted it to look like we baked a tray of cookies. So I didn't want them all to be exactly the same. So I decided to do some snowflakes as well. I ended up just attaching them and gluing them on and then using that little cinnamon acrylic paint. But it worked out totally fine. They look super cute, like tasty little cookies, and we are going to decorate our cookies now. So go ahead and frost these or outline them, whatever you, however you would wanna decorate your real cookies, you can pretty much do the same thing using 
fabric paint and little craft supplies and they just come out so adorable this is a perfect one to have your kids do if they love decorating cookies for some reason my girls are not that big on decorating cookies they'll decorate like one or two and then they are just tired of it they don't have much interest in cookie decorating so i did the cookie decorating for these and i think they turned out so fun and i plan to add these somewhere in our kitchen or dining area probably in the kitchen we have a buffet that i want to set these up on now to go along with our cookies i thought we could make a nice sign and i took one of these bamboo cutting boards from dollar tree and painted it over with some white chalk paint and then spelled out gingerbread baking co with some red fabric paint and then just kind of had fun adding some little holly and little design on the side and took more of those little gingerbread stickers along with something I saw in Dollar Tree that I think is new this year. Let me know if I'm wrong, but it's the first time I've seen it are the little wooden cutout pieces with a little, it's a bag of little wooden gingerbread men basically. So I decided to spray paint all of those and then glue them on here like large, small, large, small, large, just kind of alternating them in the size and outline them, decorate them, make them look like little gingerbread cookies. And I thought this would be really fun. It just kind of ties the whole thing together, bringing in like a sign. Um, but you can put anything that you want on here. Now for the next one, I'm taking one of these little wooden I don't know if this is like a little log cabin or a little country cottage house for Christmas in the Dollar Tree craft section, painting over the whole thing with my cinnamon acrylic paint again. And I don't know why, what in the world happened that I forgot to paint one of the windows? <laughs> Apparently I forgot to paint a window, but I did obviously the top part with a white snow and I added some glitter on top of that fabric paint while it was still wet and it would dry nicely right in there and then outline the windows as well with some white fabric paint and then just have fun with this. I got another set of fabric paint that had some teal, pink, and purple and I was, at first I was planning to put this in Kylie's tree, although she ultimately kind of went for like a little different theme so i ended up putting it in our gingerbread tree and using this as a large ornament but you could definitely hang it up on a door or hang it on the wall but for the decorations like i said i couldn't find large candy pieces so i ended up kind of just making my own with some pink and white fabric paint and just designing these little peppermints and i outlined all of the windows with the teal purple and pink so it kind of reminds me of lights i feel like that's kind of the look i was going for was um lighting up the house with christmas lights we did a pink and white candy cane striping all around the door, added a wreath, added some little trees and bushes, and for some lights in the tree, I added more of those um, rhinestone, the, the rows of rhinestone sticker gems. Although what I actually did here, I don't know if you noticed, but I pulled out the red ones because I wasn't using much red on this one. I thought it was gonna go in Kylie's room and be more of like a pink theme. And on the little bushes, I actually added these little vase filler, kind of clear vase filler gems. They're so small. I don't know why I bought a bag of them last year in Dollar Tree thinking I would do something with them, which I never did. But I added them in here and I think they look really cool because they kind of give it some texture and they make it look a little bit icy. So that is how this one came together and we added this into our gingerbread theme Christmas tree as well. Now let's move on and for the next one we are going to make a gingerbread banner. So. For this one, I took a pack of these felt gingerbread cutouts along with some red and white twine ribbon and, or it's not ribbon, I'm sorry, it's like a yarn actually. It's, it's, 
it's more like red and white yarn to be honest it looks like baker's twine though and basically decorate all of these little gingerbread felt cutout cookies and have fun with this with your fabric paints just create them the way you would have fun decorating some gingerbread cookies you can have so much fun with this and then i'm basically going to glue them back to back with the yarn in between like running along their arms so it kind of looks like they're holding hands on the ribbon like they're they're holding onto the ribbon and or the yarn i'm sorry why do i keep calling it ribbon <laughs> and then we can string these up and put them over a doorway so you could also hang them in the tree but i wanted to do these over like our entryway when you come in the front door and of course because they're back to back you'll have cute little gingerbread people from either side when you go to look at this um, both sides are decorated now, moving on, this one is going to be, I think, my very favorite one. So what I did was I went on Facebook Marketplace, but you could definitely go to any thrift store or a Goodwill or anything like that, or if your kids have some old toys laying around, and find some old dollhouse. I spray painted them. These are going to be gingerbread houses. And then we did the roofs with some white chalk paint. I added some of the like fluffy, chunky glitter on top of this one, along with this red and white candy stripe ribbon, which I did around the top and the bottom to frame the house. And that's what I love about this is that because this gingerbread house is larger than anything else in Dollar Tree, the cool thing is that you can bring in other things like a ribbon which otherwise would have been too large unless you cut it really small, but it otherwise would have been too large for the little bird houses or the Christmas village houses. So we did pink and red dots on the roof and they definitely remind me of little candies. So I love how that looks. This one is gonna be a little more of a pink and a red theme. And then I filled in with some white fabric paint kind of around the edge to cover up the edge of that candy ribbon and also just kind of make it look like the snow and ice is kind of hanging over the edge of the roof there. So I feel like that really completed the look. I also did some white fabric paint around the windows and at the top of the windows, I added some more of the chunky glitter. So it really looked like it had kind of some ice up there at the top of the window frames. We added some little trees in the front and I outlined the door and the windows. On the other side of the candy cane ribbon, I added a row or a stripe of red fabric paint and I feel like that gave it a really nice border and it just really made it pop out and look nice and neat. So some things I forgot to add in the details on here are the pom-pom wreath, which I add little holly berries in here with the tiny pom-poms. This came out of a Dollar Tree pack. And I added a little tiny bit of pink glitter fabric paint in the center of those berries. And I also used more of a glitter, it's like a white paint that dried like icy. I did that around the windows. We also added some of the little um, peppermint stickers from Hobby Lobby down the side some little silver glitter branches down here. I did some of these little green glitter branches in between the pom-poms around the door. Also made a little wreath out of them with some little berries and the little pink fabric paint in there on top. And these are kind of like poinsettia flowers. I thought that would be kind of like a fun little addition on there. So here is how this is coming together and I think it just turned out so pretty. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!